All right, Keith. In compliance with Chapter 231 of the Open Public Meetings Act in the state of New Jersey, adequate notice has been given to all members of the governing body, the local source, and the Westfield leader, the two newspapers designated to receive such notice. The notice is posted on the Borough Hall Bulletin Board. Please rise for an invocation by Councilman Moss. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We ask that you watch over and protect all mountainside residents, especially those experiencing a heightened sense of need. Please keep our fire, police, and armed forces safe and free from harm. We also ask that you give this council the courage and wisdom to make fair and just decisions on the behalf of the residents of Mountainside. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for all. Thank you. 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 Here. Councilman Turner? Here. Councilman Walsh? Here. Uh, proclamations. Where are the proclamations? We have a Red Ribbon Week proclamation. Whereas uh, October 23rd through October 31st, 2010 has been de designated Red Ribbon Week, and whereas Red Ribbon Week, oh, I say that three times fast. Yeah. Uh, started in 1985 with a group of parents wearing red satin badges as a memorial to Enrique Camarena, a Federal Drug Enforcement Administration agent that was killed while on duty. And whereas as uh, a result in 1989, the red ribbon became United Symbol of com Commitment to Create a Drug-Free America, showing the nation's intolerance to alcohol and drug abuse. And whereas the Municipal Alliance of the Borough of Mountainside, whose mandate includes spreading the message of drug and alcohol abuse prevention, has coordinated borough and school participation by sponsoring Red Ribbon Week. And therefore, I, Keith C. Turner, acting mayor of the Borough of Mountainside, do hereby proclaim October 23rd through October 31st, 2010 as Red Ribbon Week in the Borough of Mountainside and ask that all residents join in a personal commitment to a drug-free America by wearing and displaying red ribbons during Red Ribbon Week. The Red Ribbon Week proclamation. And we also have Band Appreciation Week, uh, November 16th through uh, November 23rd, 2010. Okay. Okay. Back side. Got back at Red Ribbon Week. Nope. Oh, okay. Conserving paper, very good. <laughs> Band Appreciation Week, Govern Livingston High School Highlander Band. Whereas, on behalf of Govern Livingston Band Parents Organization, we wish to acknowledge the musical accomplishments of the Govern Livingston Highlander Band. And whereas these musical accomplishments have been a great asset to the students of Govern Livingston High School and all others who supported the Highlander Band. And whereas all citizens are urged to take interest in and give full support to the Governor Livingston Highlander Band in their annual programs. Now therefore be resolved that I, Keith C. Turner, acting mayor of the Borough of Mountainside, hereby proclaim November 16th through the 23rd, 2010 as Band Appreciation Week. Congratulations for the band. Approval of the, uh, of the regular minutes, minutes uh, regular meeting September 21st, 2010. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, pull the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. We have uh, appro approval of the minutes of the work and executive sessions uh, meetings. Hmm. So moved. Second. Second. Pull the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. And Councilman Walker? Yes. We have uh, resolution 114-2010, Councilman Loss. This resolution will authorize the borough tax collector, Dale Matthews, to issue certificates for redemption for tax lien number 96-04 and 97-06, uh, excuse me, 03, and to cancel the liens for those certificates to be recorded with the union, the county of union, as paid in full. So moved. Second. Second. Pull the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. 
Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Resolution 115-2010. Uh, That's me. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> this resolution will authorize the borough chief financial officer, Jill Good, to accept bids for a $3 million bond anticipation note. So we'll second. A second. Pull the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watt? Yes. Resolution 116-2010, uh, Councilman Lane. This resolution will appoint Stephen L. Rogut of the law firm Rogut McCarthy LLC as the borough's official bond counsel for a term of one year beginning October 19, 2010. Need a second? Second. Call the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Uh, resolution 117-2010, uh, Councilman Robert. Yes. Having received six bids for contract 2010-5, the resurfacing, resurfacing of Cherry Hill and Maple Court, Borough Engineer Mike Disco has determined that the bids have exceeded the estimated appropriations, and this, re and this resolution will, be re will reject all bids and authorize the project to rebid. So moves. Second. Pull the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Resolution 118 2010 is. Uh, I'll follow, take there you go. Do that, Councilman Lane, be my guess. Following the completion of a federal emergency management agency grant, this resolution will cancel a remaining grant balance in the amount of $1,593.63. Second. Pull the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Resolution 119-2010, Councilman Mortimer. This resolution will amend and modify Resolution 128-2009, pertaining to the incentive waiver for the New Jersey State Health Benefits Program, to freeze the amount received for waivers to the 2010 amount for the year 2011, effective January 1st, 2011. Can you second? A second. Can you pull the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. <coughs> yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wall? Yes. Resolution 120-2010. Who wants to finish my TV commercial? I'll do, it. <laughs> I'll do it. Having received four bids for the sale of surplus 2000 of a surplus 2004 Ford Crown Victoria, Borough Clerk Martha Lopez recommends the award it be award be made to the highest bidder, that being Jersey One Auto Sales Incorporated of Jersey City, in the amount of two thousand one hundred and twenty dollars. Second. Second. So move. Pull the board. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Nessler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Yes. We have a uh, second reading of Ordinance 1179-2010. Uh, Councilman, Councilwoman Andre? An ordinance amending Ordinance 1173-2010, establishing the fees for certain tax documents from the borough of Mountainside. I need a second. 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 And we need to open this up to the public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On this ordinance. Public. On this ordinance, you have something to say? Oh, no. Okay. We'll, okay. We'll get to you. We'll get to you then. Okay. Um, Seeing no public participation <coughs> on this ordinance, I move that portion be closed. Close it is. Uh, pull the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. We have uh, first reading of Ordinance 1180-2010. Councilman Walsh? An ordinance amending Chapter 12 of the Code of the Borough of Mountainside pertaining to the unlawful deposit of material on streets. 
I need a second. Second. Hold the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. I have uh, first reading on Ordinance 1181-2010, Councilman Messler. Yes, an ordinance amending chapter. Um, <coughs> sorry, an ordinance amending chapter uh, seven of the code, of the Borough Mountainside, pertaining to the parking on Borough Streets during snowfall. So move. I need a second. Second. Okay. Second. Uh, pull the board on that one. Councilwoman Andre. Yes. Councilman Lane. Yes. Councilman Messler. Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Uh, yes. Yes. We have a motion uh, this evening for an approval of a raffle application from the Mountainside PTA applying for two uh, raffles, on-premise draw raffles, and one 50-50 on-premise uh, draw raffle. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So be it. Bills and claims. Be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Mountainside that the following bills of the persons named and for the amount stated below have been duly audited and found to be correct this 19th day of October 2010. The same be paid after Council's review if and when funds are available and that the Mayor, Council President, Administrator, and Treasurer are hereby authorized and directed to sign and deliver warrants for same. Total $1,298,965.79. Second. Second. Pull the board, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watts? Yes. Uh, council comments? Uh, yes. Um, first thing I'd like to comment on is I, I'd like to thank uh, the, uh, the following volunteers of our fire department for taking time from their jobs to present Fire Prevention Week at the Mountainside Schools, the uh, Holy Trinity School at Our Lady of Lords, and the preschool at Presbyterian Church during Fire Prevention Week, which was October 4th through October 10th. Um, the firemen who participated in that uh, week were Chief Neil Williams, Jr., Captain Anthony Pecorelli, Lieutenant Mike Tevnin, Firefighter Adam Fotai, Firefighter Christopher White, firefighter, firefighter Dean Pascal, and Firefighter George Urban. Uh, you know, pr Fire Prevention Week is, a, is an important week. It's great for the education of the children. And uh, I, we really appreciate the efforts of our fire department and specifically the ones, the individuals that I, I, I named uh, for participating this week and, and making it a, a successful week in education for the kids. I, I'd also like to just comment on the two ordinance, two of the ordinances that were for first reading. Um, the one was the, uh, uh, re regarding the unlawful deposit of materials in the street. And that was um, just for the public's sake. Uh, there's always been an ordinance that uh, made it unlawful to deposit certain things in the, in the street. And we amended that ordinance to include additional items such as uh, snow, Ice and I think was that it, Ron? But those yes, are two uh, snow plows plowing snow into the street, especially if they've been plowed by town plows. Right. So there was concerns from last year's snows, especially some of the bigger snows that we had last year, where uh, people or, or snow plows were doing private jobs and, and actually taking the snow into the uh, into the street, causing problems on roads that had already been plowed. Um, so we wanted to, to amend the ordinance to make it unlawful for those situations. Uh, the other, the other uh, ordinance that we actually had a lot of consideration and debate about um, dealt with uh, parking when roads were snow covered. And uh, we've always ha actually had an ordinance that um, dealt with parking in our streets when the roads are snow covered. However, it was... Uh, uh, it dealt with when there were emergency signs only posted. And again, especially with some of the big snowstorms yes, last year, we felt that there, and at the recommendation of our public works director and after consultation with uh, our snow plowing contractors, that it became a bit of a hazard. Um, and uh, we've now amended that ordinance so that it is um, 
it's, as it, it's always been with respect to if there were signs posted. Uh, now there doesn't need to be signs posted, uh, but it is a, a, now a law of our, our municipality that when this, the roads are still snow covered, uh, it's unlawful to park in the roads. And by snow covered, it's defined, of, I think, above three inches. Beginning at three inches, Calvin. Okay. Yes. Uh, now, once those roads are cleared of snow, and hopefully that would all take place within a you know, uh, you know, relatively short period of time, uh, that ordinance would no longer theoretically take effect. Um, but we felt again we had some significant snowfalls last year that uh, issues came up, and we wanted to try and address that for public safety purposes. I just wanted to take a minute to explain that. Thank you. Anybody else? Any public participation? Come on up, state your name and address for the record. Good evening. My name is <coughs> Nancy Rao, and I live on Knightsbridge Road, the mountainside, 138 Knightsbridge Road. of uh, an incident that happened on Knightsbridge Road on August 16th and uh, also correspondence that I have received since that time. Uh, the correspondence that I've received is, are incorrect and uh, I have a file to prove it. Um, I don't wish to embarrass anybody but I would like to show this file and this documentation to the borough administrator and probably one gentleman or so that's on public works because um, it, this has been um, an anxiety provoking, terribly upsetting. Um, I was scheduled. Uh, to leave for Chicago and Milwaukee on the 19th, important business. And on the 16th, uh, I was completely blocked in my driveway, I couldn't get out. Um, I called down to the borough hall to see if they knew what was going on on the street. Numerous occasions, people have come to Knightsbridge Road and said they have permission with the borough to do something or other, and it turned out it wasn't true. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. No one had any knowledge at that time, and the person who might have that knowledge was uh, in transit from Arizona. Um, it involved what I considered uh, street trees within 10 feet of the borough street. And um, I called the next morning and said, I have some information in the file and I'd like to have a meeting and um, I got a very terse response saying, no, I'm not going to meet with you. I'll send you a letter. When the letter came, it was totally inaccurate. Um, on, the, on the 19th, on the 18th, I called the Summer Medical Group and I said, you know, I want to make an appointment because I'm not uh, really feeling up to par. And they said, well, what are your symptoms? And I explained it, and they said, um, I said, I have to be at the airport tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock at Newark. And they said, no, Mrs. Rao, you're going to be in this doctor's office at 8 o'clock on the 19th. And I've been under their care ever since. <clears throat> the information, it's not so much annoying that it's inaccurate. It could have easily been avoided by just checking the facts. What was blocking the road? There was um, tree work being done. By whom? I have it in the file. Um, I, I don't wish to embarrass anybody here, but it's, it's easily checked. But I would like to go over this. And um, there's been... Um, sure. I'll go over it. Yeah, do you, would you want to have, rather than, I mean, it's up to you. You certainly have your opportunity to speak publicly. But is, is, I get the sense that you'd rather speak 
privately at least first with our borough administrator. Is that sure? That, Absolutely. And, also and along with and Public Works Mr. Councilman Chairman. Councilman is the Chairman of Public Works. So, I know that. I, so I, you, I took the you, trouble to look all that up. Okay. Yes. If you want Absolutely. to meet, if you would like to meet rather than discuss this publicly now. Well, I right don't wish to meet. embarrass anybody, but I think all of this could have been avoided, but it's totally... Um, Okay. If you want to take, if you would, right after this meeting, if you want to discuss it right after the meeting with the borough administrator and uh, yes. and the uh, chairman of Can the public stay? works department, if, if you, we could take you care of that mind. tonight. I don't know if I'm up to it. I'm still under doctor's care, and um, well, that's up to you. If you feel up no, to it, they're willing to stay and discuss briefly, it with you. Just briefly, I would like to show them the file rather than to okay. go into sure. it. But I really need their advice because this. Um, has taken on a life. Okay. Well, we, we, if you'd uh, like to meet, we have. This, the it has to do with treat service. Do you, do you want the uh, public works, works director sir. involved as well? I do not, sir. Okay. I asked for a meeting, and I was rejected. Okay, then. And I have two letters that are inaccurate, and I have documentation to prove it. So that opportunity is gone. Okay, that's fine. I was just asking. I know, sir. Okay. Okay. Well, right okay. after the meeting, it'll, it'll take a couple of minutes to finish up the meeting, and you can meet with the board administrator and the. Uh, uh, Councilman Messler, who is in uh, the chairman of the Public that. Works uh, right. Department. I thank okay. you for your consideration. No problem. And um, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm in marketing, and our logo in Mountainside is um, a tree mm -hmm. and a family. Mm -hmm. There's wonderful things in this town, schools, libraries, recreation, but our core, our symbol, our, our brand, Mountainside, you know when you come to Mountainside with the trees, and um, I think this is a very important issue, plus okay. the issue of communication. Okay, okay. we'll and discuss it right after the time. meeting. No yeah. problem. Thank you. Go down to the mic. Seeing no other uh, public participation, I move that that section be closed. It's a move. Okay, all in favor? All right. It is closed. Uh, do we have any uh, need to adjourn this evening to executive session? Not to my knowledge, Mr. Mayor. A motion to... Close the meeting. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. That's the end, boys and girls. Thank you for.